welcome to our episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Kristen. I'm Chris. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at the official trailer for another Halloween reboot. Now, before you leave, mm -hmm. let's let's talk about a couple things. This does not have Rob Zombie involved at all. Mm -hmm. This is being done by a couple writers, I believe, who they said they're fans one of the original. The, oh, they're fans, and one of them is uh, Danny McBride, pretty much. He was one of the writers because. He pretty much was a fan of, of the pretty much one of his favorite villains of all time. And, well, another thing is, it stars um, Jimmy Lee Curtis reprising the role as Laurie Strode. Yes. And, the, this is the part I found fascinating. This is technically supposed to be Halloween 3? Like, no, no, no. What, because I, I, read, I read a few articles, and even Danny McBride, some of the writers and stuff like that have stated... This is more of a, se a direct sequel, part two, from the original Halloween. Because they said after, never, there's... because they said afterward, after that first Halloween, the story, the multiple stories that we got, it is like it is, oh, it, 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 it went into the it went, it went, resurrection. It went, it went left and right where they, you know, to the, for a lot of people, they think that that's more like alternate universes of this character. But that's all it is. I think, but they're so stating it's... they're stating that this is for them. A direct sequel, part two, for from the original Halloween, like years later, pretty much what's going on, and so it okay. Here's where I'm gonna go off, yeah. of, just so we can unconfuse anybody, including myself. Yes. Two, the resurrection they ignored. They ignored. They just went directly. This is from... a direct sequel to the first one. Yeah, that's what they're. That's trying to all do. you need to know, people. That's so, so know. if you've at least watched the very first Halloween and, movie, yeah. you're. Caught up, and, and, we already, like, and we already kind of figured that in this film that uh, was a uh, Jamie Lee Curtis is finally gonna get come to the end, her end in this one. That that's what they're stating. So in a way, we're following. Well, her we don't know. We don't know if it's when they say her end, if it's like she's gonna get killed her end, or like this is the last one we'll ever see Laurie Strode in, or Jamie Lee Curtis. Well, they're in saying that movie. pretty much in a way they're trying to set it up to where it's like this time it's gonna be like the granddaughter, pretty much that has to deal with him. That's what they're. That's what they're kind of going with. Okay, then let's check it out. So let's dive right into this. This is the uh, official trailer. I think this is being done by Bloomhouse. I'm, 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 I believe it's Bloomhouse. We'll, Bloomhouse. We'll, we'll, much, we'll see. Great, we'll see. The a great the studio, which, which is a great studio, by the way. They've been doing great, uh, doing good so far. Uh, but this is the official trailer for Halloween. So here we go. I've waited for him. <laughs> Yeah. We're here to investigate a patient that killed three innocent teenagers on Halloween in 1978. Oh, so this is many years later, like 40. Oh, they don't have him because they have to pass away. They spent the last 40 years in captivity. Hello, Michael. I have something you might like to see. His original, his original ass. <laughs> they aged it too. That's the funny part. Well, it's been four years in this version. Well, it's fantastic. They aged it. Yeah, yeah Blue House. Turns into a nutcase this time of year. I mean, your grandmother is Lori Strode. She was almost murdered. Wasn't it her brother? Who all those babysitters? Oh, all the scars. It was not her brother. That's the man people made up. You know, it was her brother. I pray every night that he would escape. What the hell did you do that for? Hey! So I can kill him. So I can kill him. Oh, she's fuck! Been, she's been prepared since then. Yeah, oh, John Carper is will be overseeing it, okay? Oh, he escaped. Bus Mom, what bus crash? Oh! So Excuse me, somebody's in here. That's the she the Oh damn! No! I you bottle! I you bottle! The mask. Oh! He's waiting for this night. He's waiting for me. Fuck. Waited for him. Waited for him. He's been prepared. That's just a mirror. Yeah. You don't believe in the boogeyman. You would. He's 
positioned. Yeah! Can you close the closet door? No, don't, don't, don't. It's just jammed. Do not try to open it. Please don't try to open it. Oh! Shit! I told her not to open it! Oh my god. Dude, that actually looks really good. It looks really fucking good. It's like she trained for four years to, get, to put a bullet. I love she's like, she she's tells prepped up. I love what she tells the cop, too. It, it's like, why? Why even wait for it? So I can kill him. So I can kill him. It's like, I've been prepared. It's like every day she's been prepared just in case you I love what they're doing. I love what they're doing. They're just like, you know what? Two through whatever number it's on. It's like never happened. Those are just like alternate worlds that, you know, that's going and on. I think Carpenter agrees. That's why he's executive producing it. He agreed that I would like, like to, to do I would, I would personally like to hear John Carpenter's thoughts. If you guys know what his thoughts are, comment down below. Let us know what his thoughts are on them just going, this is a direct sequel to the original first movie. Yeah. 40 years later. So it looks like it is, part of the movie is about her chasing her down, but part of it is also probably going to be about her granddaughter as well. Yeah, her Because let's not forget, this all started because it's a teenage horror movie. Yeah, so. that's, what, that's what it was. And she, you could tell, again... She's been preparing from every she, single she, day. She has like an underground bunker. She has fucking. She's <laughs> locked and loaded Rambo style. I love. She's like she's been waiting. Even like she stated though, she's like I've been waiting for him to escape. And you know what's funny moment. is, regardless of all that, it's still very fucking tense. It does pretty much because it's like so she's been waiting for him for all these years. That's why she's like I'm hoping for him to escape. Mm -hmm. I want him to escape because it's like I'm ready because he's like she knows the moment he does escape. He's the, he, he, she knows he's going to come straight here. He's going to come straight here because he's going to finish what he started. So, yeah, we are, uh, we'll have to watch the original. I've only seen like internet reviews of the I've original. Seen the, I've seen the original. And I, I was needing to go see the original, but for the most part, I'm in. Like, uh, I think when, I think when Jamie Lee Curtis got on board, I was interested. She After was very watching, interested. Cause she like, because I read an article. She's like, she, uh, she loved where they were taking the story yeah. and she loved how, how pretty much this was gonna go, and but the reason I say she might might die off or something like that is because she even said this will be you know her you know her farewell type of film pretty much. Where she That's why I say you, you don't know if that means literally or metaphorically. Metaphorically, one of those two pretty much. But she says she loved it because she loved where they were taking the story with Lori's story. She, they loved how they took her. So I definitely I'm in. I can't wait to see my friend Travis's reaction because this is one of his all time favorite. You know, type of uh, villains of all time. It's oh, it's Mike, Michael Myers. Yeah, it's always been him. Dude, the teeth. The, the teeth. They just We're dropped so it. <laughs> like you said too, going Occupado, Occupado. Honestly, it looked. Honestly, I enjoyed this trailer more than I did the the, the was it the Predator trailer. Yeah, to I be enjoyed honest, this a bit more. To be honest, because this one was more grounded, more. It made more of like, like sense. And, and I think Bloomhouse producing it is is just the cherry on top. It's the cherry on top because I'm not saying Bloomhouse is the fa most. They, they, every movie is fantastic, but they know what to what, what to, to do, what to find when it comes to horror movies lately. They know how to do it where get, it's like, like it's good. Get out, Happy Death Day. Yes. Um, I I haven't seen True for Dare. Have you seen True for Dare? I haven't seen Truth of Dare yet. Um, aren't, aren't they doing... Um, no, they're not doing Upgrade. That's another studio. No, Upgrade is Bloomhouse. Yes. Yeah, so oh, it's Bloomhouse no. Tilt, but it's still Bloomhouse. Tilt, but it's still, uh, it's still affiliated with Bloomhouse. Yeah. So, overall, very invested. Can't wait to see more overall. Yeah. Um, let, but let us know what Carpenter thinks about yeah, it. Yeah, let us know, or just let us know what you guys thought as well. Yeah. So, other than that, if you need a channel... You hit the like button. If you want to talk some more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about horror movies, hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well. Let us know what you guys thought of this. If you're if you're a huge fan of this uh, franchise, is it something that you won't mind checking out? Is it something that you finally are saying this is the way he should have been should be Re done? Is it is this a return to form for you? Yeah, is this a return to form for you? Let us know your favorite part of this trailer, what you can't wait to see in this trailer. Let us know in the comments below. Put down what you thought of our reaction overall. But most importantly, thank you for watching. It's smart what they do because having a four, sorry, I want to add this little extra. 40 years later, that means they don't, like I said, the actor that played, I forgot what his, the, the psychiatrist's name was, he passed. Um, yeah. Around, I think, the end of the sixth or seventh movie, fifth or sixth yeah. movie, um, he passed. So having it four years later was also a smart idea because you can easily say he passed away. Yeah, he easily say he, he passed. He was already old as it was in the first movie, yeah. so him passing away makes sense. Yeah. 
40 years though. 70 years. And I, again, I like the mask very much because the mask, you could tell it's been aged as well to make yeah. it give it that look of so, it's, it's been a while. So until next time though, I'm Chris. I'm Christopher. And this was a very uh, Myers Family Reunion filled episode of SRB. See later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out your previous reactions, as well as our other shows, click the playlist down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can check us out on Twitter, as well as Stardust, at Super React Bros.